normal work day. Um, but before that, I need to go and drop off my dog to the groomers. He's finally getting groomed after like months of not getting groomed. So we're really excited about that. Um, I shouldn't say months. I wonder when the last time was. Well, it was probably, it was probably like three months ago actually. So we've been washing him in between and I give him, you know, a little bit of a trim for haircuts, but he's been really desperate for one and we've had a really hard get, we've had, sorry, I can't speak, it's early. We've had a hard time getting him into the groomers uh, just because of COVID, I don't know. So anyway, I'm taking him this morning uh, into the grooming place. Um, you know, my dog is so small and yesterday when I called and asked him how long it was going to take, he said it was going to be three hours, which I think is crazy, but whatever, I, Rainy's going to go and have a little spa day and that's it. So I'm going to go and wash my face and get ready for the day. I don't think I'm going to wear makeup today, so... All I'm gonna do is curl my lashes. And I'm gonna curl it in the viewfinder like a freak. Actually, let's move over to the mirror. Wow, that the sun now coming through our window this time of year is so freaking bright. When we moved in here, it was August, I suppose. So we weren't experiencing this bright spring sunshine our condo it's really beautiful because the way it comes in through all of our windows and shines all the way back you know to where our kitchen is over here is really pretty in the mornings but it's also a little violent okay that's better so I'm not gonna wear any makeup today but I do really like to curl my lashes even on days when I'm not wearing any mascara I still feel like it opens the eye and then today is just a normal work day but it's quite nice actually because my work schedule is 10 until 6 30 and I normally I used to get up at around like five, between five or, and six every day actually. I haven't been doing that lately, but I'd like to get back on that schedule. Actually, maybe I'll wear a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is such a beautiful product. very small amount goes a very long way and I seriously only apply it right at the very corner whatever is left I sometimes will tap it here. anyway what was I saying oh yes so I used to get up very early I've kind of been sleeping in well, I say sleep in, I sleep in until like seven or something lately. But I'm trying to get up earlier again because I really do have a good amount of time in the morning to get stuff done before my day job starts at 10. So that's why this morning I'm getting ready. I'll drop off my dog to the groomer. And then I think I'm just gonna run a few errands that I need to do. I'm gonna go to the drugstore and try to find, um, you know how there's those, I don't even know, I think it's by Glossier, those little um, like pens, almost looks like a little eyeliner pen and you can draw in the brow strokes for your brows. I don't have one of those and I'd like to get it because after getting my eyebrows microbladed, you know, I've had them done twice now, I had the touch up. I could go back and have them touched up a third time and maybe I will eventually but for now I do find that there are some sparse areas so I'd like to just fill those in with some strokes if I could rather than using you know like a shadow which is what I've been doing lately filling them in with a shadow so I'd like to try that 
product, but I need to do a little research before I get there because I actually was in shoppers recently and I was looking around, but a few different brands actually carry that kind of product now too, and I don't know which one's the best. So I'd like to get the good one. So I'm just gonna do a little research on that. Last night I downloaded a new audiobook. I listened to audiobook audiobooks on Audible and I have for quite some time and I really love it. Um, it's great for me because I have to walk my dog three times a day or whatever. So I listen to it then, I'll listen to it, you know, in the mornings when I'm getting ready. I was just listening to it this morning. It seems okay so far. The book is called Before We Were Strangers. It's a love story, I believe, so I'm looking forward to hearing that. Pop in some earrings. This is my very natural look for this morning. I think just during, you know, lockdown, quarantine, whatever, I haven't really been into wearing makeup. Not that I have over the past few years. I've really um, toned it down with makeup a lot. I used to wear, you know, a full face winged eyeliner or whatever every day, but now even mascara seems like sometimes a bit much for me. So I just like to go super natural and that's it. So I'll take you guys along for the ride. I'll show you uh, the before and after of Rainey. His hair is so freaking long right now. So I'm looking forward to it being done. My hair definitely needs a wash. What day is it today? Wednesday, so tomorrow or Friday is hair wash day. We'll see how I feel, but today we'll definitely be going up in a pony. So here's the before, Rainy. I did go to Shoppers Drug Mart trying to find that uh, Glossier Brow Flick dupe. I looked it up uh, before I left and I found a few, so I was super excited to go in and try them. And I got in and none of those brands were sold at Shoppers, which I was surprised about. I was looking for um, Elf, Milani, Ardell, and I found some other ones. I found one by Rimmel, but it seemed kind of expensive for what it was and I would prefer to try out one by elf first and see if it's good because apparently it's really great I can't remember where around here sells elf but I've seen it recently on a shelf I don't know where I was elf on a shelf anyway that was a bust but I did get something I decided to try out this new L'Oreal air volume mega mascara I was running low on mascara anyway. And I've heard people say good things. Let's see what the applicator looks like. A 
That seems okay to me. It's just super thick and round all the way through. Let's give it a try since I'm not wearing any mascara right now anyway. Adrian, can you please pause your music for a second? It's hard to tell what a new mascara is like on the first try because I find that it is so fresh. You kind of need it to be a little bit dry to get the full effect. However, seems nice. Lengthening, not crazy about it I would say, but like I said, ask me in a week once it dries out a bit. A little bit clumpy. It's nice. So this eye actually it's going on better because I did not dip it back in so I have less product on the wand and it looks a lot nicer so I'm sure it's good. So that's that. It's okay. I'll let you know once it dries out a little bit what I think about it, but for now, it works. Okay, now I have a little bit of time before work. I'm not sure who will pick up Rainy because since his vet appointment is going to be three hours long, me and Adrian will both be working at that time, so on va voir. So I think I'm just going to do some cleaning before work starts in about 40 minutes. Good boy, Rainy. 